Hey everyone, Mark here for Intel Future Skills, and today we have a fun Scribblebot challenge. Yeah, Scribblebots are really just an autonomous uh, device that you're going to make that's going to allow you to create art or scribbling on paper. And the central to this activity is going to be a motor. You need to have a motor. There's various types of motors that you can find. Um, I found this one actually in a small a dollar store fan. And um, if you want to, if you haven't done our home scavenger hunt or our toy hacking, you might find some motors in those DC or battery operated toys. Now, most motors that you find, these little hobby motors, are going to be oh, three to 12 volts, mostly three to six volts. So you wanna pick the appropriate batteries. Uh, this is a little battery holder that we pulled out of another toy, but uh, you can make yours out of rubber bands and two AA batteries to get yourself three volts. Each AA battery is 1.5 volts. Or you could add four of them to make it six volts, right? It's up to you. A nine volt can be nice, but if your motor's not suited for it, you can get your motor kind of warm and maybe even burn it out. So be careful if you happen to use a nine volt. Um, but here, let's listen to what happens when I put these onto, onto these. You just hear the spindle spinning around and and it, it, it does some good vibration and, and movement. And I guess I could attach this to something to make myself a little drawing robot by, by putting it on the bottom and allowing just to spin around. But there's another really cool thing that you can do if you can just offset the weight of your motor or your spindle. What I like to do is using a glue stick. And these are just a basic hot glue, low temp glue stick. And I cut them into pieces and I just take one or two of these pieces however you want. You could even also use Play-Doh or some sort of modeling clay if you wanted to. But what I do is I shove it on to the end of the spindle here. And now my motor basically is going to, as it spins around, it's gonna try to whoomp, whoomp, right? And that's gonna cause some vibration or my motor to jump around. So let's, let's try it here. I'll attach this one there. Oh, you can hear that. Now, what you can feel, I can feel my whole hand like vibrating because it's, it creates this, as it spins around so fast, it creates this motion that basically vibrates the motor. And if I can transfer that vibration to some sort of body that I could then hook my, my markers to, I can make some really fun scribbly machines. So try to find some recycled uh, containers that you could use or cups if you wanna make a little tiny, tiny, miniature scribble bot you could do that too a little dixie cups um, some markers and then you're going to want to attach them however you want you could use four five eight ten markers um, it really depends what you want your scribble bot to be and i don't want to tell you or show you but there is a there is a video in there if you want a little more information of what other people have made but I don't want to give it away because my goal really is to have you all thinking creatively, create your own idea, not what I made, but your own idea. And you're probably going to get it done in five, 10 minutes, right? You get it done, use my tips, but when you're done, don't stop there. This is a good 40 minute activity. If you work on iterating, iterating is trying, failing, learning from it, doing it again, seeing what worked well, making it better, seeing that the better didn't work and made it worse and going back to the step four and, and just keep trying. And, and so I'm gonna challenge you, try to do uh, concentric circles. Can your, your little autonomous thing spin, vibrate or spin around and make nice circles? Or can it draw straight lines? Or can your Scribblebot make more ink on the page than anybody else in a minute? What is the thing that you can make yours do Make it do it and then try to change it. Try to make it better. And if it makes it worse, then try to make it better again. That's the whole point. It's growing in your perseverance, your grit. It's tinkering, it's exploring. This is such an easy project to get into. Just keep taking it to the next level. So as always, walk through our dream it, draw it, build it, share it phases. When you get done there, you can expand it. There's a whole bunch of great things. Maybe you go big with a, a uh, five gallon bucket and some sidewalk chalk. I don't know, but in a, in a 12 volt drill motor, that'd be fun. So make your own cool scribble bot. We'd love to hear from you. 
Intel Future Skills at Intel.com. Until then, keep scribbling, keep making, mark out.